Amen. Praise the Lord. We're glad to have with us the four for Jesus. They're from uh, Barbville, Kentucky. And uh, if you'd like to get them to come to your church, call them at area code 606 542 4483. They're going to be back in just a few minutes to share some more songs with us and, and a blessing to us. And uh, you know, uh, it's good to be back here with you tonight. Uh, uh, so uh, every time the Bible says, "When I was to do good, Satan hindered." I believe Paul, Apostle Paul, said that, and that's what we want to talk about—the hindering, hindering of Satan. <laughs> that's what we want to preach tonight. And and the, and if you got your Bibles there in First Thessalonians, uh, the uh, second chapter there. In the 14th verse, before we get into the Word, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight thanking you, Lord, for your Word. Thanking you, Lord, for your power, Lord, that you got all power over heaven and earth. And, Lord, that uh, you put your Spirit within us, Lord, that uh, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And we thank you for that today, that, Lord, we have that power, Lord, to resist Satan. And, and Lord, we, we have the power over him, Lord, through you, Jesus Christ. And Lord, we just pray, Father, tonight that you just take this message, Lord, and may it find a lodging place in the hearts and minds of the individuals out there tonight that is being hindered by Satan, Lord. And God, we just pray that you deliver those that are lost and in sin tonight, Father, that hating, uh, Satan's got them blinded, Lord, that they can't see the light. Lord, help them to realize, Lord, that you love them, Lord, and help them, Lord, to see their need of salvation before it's too late. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, Paul said there in the second chapter of First Thessalonians, the fourteenth verse, he said, "For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God, which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, uh, even as they have of the Jews, who both kill." the Lord Jesus and their own prophets. Now this is talking about religious people. Right, brother. This is talking about religious people uh, uh, there that did these things. Uh, uh, he said, uh, For ye have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets. Listen to that. That's the way people are today. And have persecuted us. Talking about us Christians. Paul's talking about us Christians. You see, there was a new sect of the Jews uh, group started, and it was Christianity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, before that, they had Pharisees and Sadducees and all these other religions, groups that uh, didn't like the, didn't like the uh, Christianity because... It was uh, uh, based upon the resurrection of Christ. Christianity is. Um, uh, so uh, they didn't like this new uh, sect of the Jews, uh, this new religion, this new group, uh, because the Romans, you know, see the Romans had legalized the Sadducees and the Pharisees to practice their religion. And they, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and these religious groups didn't want no new religious group coming in because they were, they, they were afraid they would mess up their, their uh, uh, relationship that they had with the Roman government. Yeah, that was. And so uh, what it was, uh, that's the reason they didn't want this Christianity group to come in. And they persecuted them right down to the, you know, they persecuted them to to the death, they even put some of them in prison. Peter and, and some of the apostles, Paul was one of them that was put in uh, prison. And uh, he was writing this letter to the Thessalonians there at this time, wanting to come and pay them a visit. But the, uh, the people there, the religious groups, didn't want him to come. So they, they were hindering him from coming and sharing the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. And so this was the, this was the uh, uh, way that it was going there. And uh, 
he said, forbidden us, look here what Paul said, forbidden us to speak to the Gentiles that they might be saved. See, they had something against the Gentiles. They didn't think the Gentiles should have a right to be saved. <laughs> they won't, they, they, because they, were, they, they felt like they were sitting in Moses' seat. The Pharisees were. They were sitting in Moses' seat. So they, they said, now this is for Jews only. But Jesus said, for whosoever will, let him come and take up the water of life free. Now this is the way Satan hinders people. He hinders people through religion. You know, there's people tonight out there probably watching me by TV, Brother Jonathan, that believe if they join the Baptist church or if they join the Holiness church or they join the Catholic church or whatever other church, that that's going to save them. Just joining the church won't save you. You've truly got to be born again of God's Spirit. You've got to be changed by His Word. The Bible says we're begotten by the Word. Drawn by the Spirit. Jesus said no man can come to the Father 